My name is Dr. Len Calabrese. I'm a professor of medicine and the vice chair of the Department of Rheumatic and Immunologic Diseases at the Cleveland Clinic. Um, I am addressing the issue uh, and the question of whether immune dysregulation um, in long COVID is merely an association or whether it is causing many of the signs and symptoms and problems uh, that we are confronting um, in this pandemic of long COVID. I think this is important uh, for a number of reasons, but in particular, uh, just this year, the uh, National Academies of Science, including medicine, have uh, uh, promulgated a new uh, case definition for long COVID that explicitly um, tells us that um, patients who have experienced COVID-19 and then develop certain autoimmune diseases, naming uh, conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and Sjogren's, uh, may be suffering from a complication within the long COVID spectrum. So this is a, a, actually a tectonic shift in our thinking. So uh, uh, and it has great implications for patients with rheumatic disease, um, both pre-existing and newly diagnosed and raises the question, is uh, immune dysregulation driving long COVID? Well, we've looked at this issue from uh, every angle. And uh, I can briefly summarize by saying that, number one, uh, it is quite clear that COVID-19 is associated with a disruption of uh, immune homeostasis. Um, and that patients who experience COVID-19 have an increased incidence of elaborating autoantibodies that uh, are used to, to identify and diagnose many autoimmune diseases. Second point is, is that unfortunately, um, merely having an autoantibody is not equatable to having an immune disease. And the evidence linking uh, COVID-19 to actually the new incident diagnoses of distinct uh, rheumatic and other autoimmune diseases uh, is still um, uh, far from certain. And finally, um, uh, I think that there's some exciting uh, work going on in this area that COVID-19 has actually given birth to several new uh, diagnoses such as Miss A, Miss C, and possibly uh, a form of inflammatory myositis uh, that we're just starting to hear about. And this really requires uh, a lot of intense investigation uh, to further understand this. Penultimately, uh, further uh, uh, assessing this relationship between COVID-19, disruption of the immune system is essential before we can craft and test uh, the many uh, immune uh, uh, therapeutics that rheumatology has been developing for the past 25 years. So I think we're uh, kind of at the beginning of this. Uh, it's very exciting and uh, we're gonna have to keep uh, plugging away.